I see the blood, when I see the blood, you should be destroyed, but the blood will speak. Hear me, you live the wayward life, and all kinds of things happen, and the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! Invoke mercy. Come on now. Invoke mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out covenant. It can blot out It can blot out covenant. that no longer 
will there be an accusation to say oh you once in, were in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what I did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the Bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again Lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State I did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cursed, I exempt myself I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say I begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal when only are you praying alienated every biological deformity every genetic deformity pray every yoke that made you SS that made you AS that gave you hepatitis it must go tonight the spirit of 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 the Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes I stretch my hands right now you hear me I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekreteke toko soto balakata. Shepreketeko sutabariyatakata. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, He says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship. Be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you works against you I command that fail be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark. Segeto shalakras katabadiyasha. Lebren tekes kotabras Any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes SS Jakatosia AS there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of Jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant 
I blot it out of your body right now. I blot it out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns. You usually are not the first to experience that. But I want to prophesy right now. I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life. You have seen around your finances. You have seen around your work with God. You are up today, down tomorrow. You are serious today, on serious tomorrow. You love the Lord today. You love something else tomorrow. Your ministry rises today, crashes tomorrow. Your finances is up today and is blown like the wind. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 I announce to the realm of the spirit, whatever should have happened to your life by now, for good, but because of the presence of these embargoes, there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ. There are levels of growth, levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace. And for whatever reason, certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I provoke restoration right now. 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 I pray over your life. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And the Bible says Elijah ran on bare foot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I want to speak speed in your life. I don't know what tied you down. By now, according to the program of God for you, you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore i command speed step into it right now in the name of jesus i command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Last prayer point I want to pray for you for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says 
that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can veto the plans of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now Soto Sota, Lake to Sketerica, a breaker anointing, the grace and the unction, carry the fire, carry the grace, carry the unction, command deliverance, make environments cost free in the name of Jesus. May your presence, your presence in your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes and enchantment surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus 